Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, November the 23rd. It's the final week of the church year, and week seven in our psalm cycle. And please pardon the background noise. Uh, we're having scattered showers uh, this morning. The scripture for this service, Psalm 106, verse 19 to 42, and Matthew 19, verse 1 to 12. And please join me in singing verse 5 of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Novice. Forty years I grieved with them, my people gone astray. In my anger swore to them, my rest they shall not enter. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. They made a calf in Horeb and worshipped the molten image. Alleluia. Psalm 106, and please recite it with me. Alleluia. They made a calf in Horeb and they worshipped the molten image. And thus they exchanged their glory for the image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot you who had saved them who had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. And you would have destroyed them had not Moses stood before you in the breach to turn away your wrath. They despised the pleasant land and did not believe your word. They murmured in their tents and did not listen to your voice. And so you lifted your hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness to overthrow their children among the nations and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves to Baal Peor and ate the sacrifices of the dead. And thus they provoked you to anger with their acts. And a plague broke out among them. And then stood up Phineas and executed judgment. And so the plague was ended. And that was counted to him for righteousness to all generations forevermore. They angered you at the waters of Meribah, so that Moses was punished for their sakes, because they provoked his spirit, that he spoke rash words with his lips. They did not destroy the nations which you commanded them, but they mingled among the heathen and learned their evil ways, and they served their idols, which were a snare to them. They sacrificed their sons and daughters to devils, and shed innocent blood, the blood of their children, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus they were defiled by their own acts, and went a-whoring with their own inventions. And so your wrath kindled against them, and you abhorred your own inheritance. You gave them into the hands of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. They made a calf in Horeb and worshipped the molten image. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 19, beginning at verse 1. Now, when Jesus had finished saying these things, he left Galilee, and he went to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. And large crowds followed him, and he cured them there. Some Pharisees came to him, and to test him they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause? And he answered, Have you not read that the one who made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. 
They said to him, Why then did Moses command us to give a certificate of dismissal and divorce her? And he said to them, It was because you were so hard-hearted that Moses allowed you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning it was not so. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for unchastity, and marries another, commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If such is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. But he said to them, Not everyone can accept this teaching, but only those to whom it is given. For there are eunuchs who have been so from birth, and there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by others. And there are eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let anyone accept this who can. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ. And for those who are alone, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the sick, especially Paul and Bill. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Brother Ronald Francis. That they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For prisoners and captives, especially Robert. For the persecuted and for refugees that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who died, especially Lloyd and Margaret, that together with Clement and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Let us never forget that you are our saving God. Shed your abundant mercy on us. Cast all our sins behind your back. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.